Claude Code just got a new superpower, thanks to something called MCP, or Model Context Protocol. It's how Claude connects to real tools like Jira, GitHub, or even your own APIs. And here's the crazy part. Your AI coding assistant can now read your Jira tickets, create new tasks, and update stories without ever leaving VS Code. Today, I'll show you exactly how to set it up and turn Claude Code into your new project manager. All right, let's connect Claude Code with the Atlassian MCP server. The Model Context Protocol, or MCP, is what allows Claude to talk to external tools like Jira, Confluence, or GitHub through a secure bridge. To link Jira with Claude Code, we'll add the Atlassian MCP endpoint using a simple command. Claude MCP add transport SSE Atlassian h slash mcp .atlassian.com v1 slash SSE. Here's what this command does. Claude MCP add tells Claude to register a new MCP connection. Transport SSE means it will communicate using server sent events, which is a real-time streaming protocol, kind of like a one-way WebSocket. And the URL points directly to the Atlassian MCP server, which handles communication between Claude and Jira. Once this is added, Claude automatically saves your connection inside a configuration file named claude.json in your current project directory. Let's open it up. We have MCP servers config for Atlassian with type set to SSE and the provided URL. This means your Claude workspace now knows about the Atlassian MCP. It's officially connected and ready to talk to your Jira workspace. Now that the Atlassian MCP server is connected, the next step is to authenticate Claude code so it can actually access your Jira and Confluence data. All right, now that authentication is done, let's make sure everything's working. Inside Claude code, I'll open the chat and type get list project in Jira now. What happens next is really cool. Behind the scenes, Claude sends that request to the Atlassian MCP server, which then communicates directly with the Jira Cloud API. Essentially, Claude is saying, hey Jira, give me all the projects this user has access to. And within a few seconds, Claude returns a formatted list of your Jira projects, complete with project keys, names, and types. Now, let's try something more interesting. We've already connected Claude code to Jira, but what if we could automate the entire sprint planning process? That's where sub-agents come in. If you've watched my previous video, you already know how to create a custom sub-agent inside Claude Code, basically a specialized AI teammate with its own purpose and context. In this demo, I've created a new sub-agent called Sprint Planner Agent. All right, now that we've got the Sprint Planner sub-agent ready, let's see it in action. Inside Claude Code, I'll prompt. Use Sprint Planner Subagent to create a project in Jira for building a landing page for a photo booth store. And this is where it gets really cool. Instead of just blindly creating a Jira project, Claude automatically switches context to the Sprint Planner Subagent, the one we built earlier. The subagent immediately starts asking smart questions, just like a real project manager would. What's the primary goal of this landing page? What's the expected timeline? Do you already have the content and assets ready? Which tech stack or platform are we using? You can see it's not just generating text, it's thinking in context. It gathers all these details to clearly define the project scope and objectives before creating the actual JIRA project.